most document this. You set me up. Reporting live with Channel 8 News. We're at the corner of 2nd and Figueroa, where we have what appears to be an extreme bomb threat. A group of terrorists have just taken innocent civilians hostage. Men, women, and children here at the 2nd Street Tunnel in downtown Los Angeles. We have a SWAT team on site, as well as the LAPD. We have not yet determined their purpose or who they are. Washington again, Barb. I'm working every angle, Bob. What can I tell you? Anything new? Maintain position near entrance. You will get on the phone and stop the execution. How in the world did they get in this country without us knowing? None of them were ever on any of our terrorist lists. We should have seen this coming. Here we go. What do we know about these people? That's the problem. Nothing. How much are we talking about here? We can't be sponsoring rebels. Okay, they're not rebels, they're people. And the best thing I think we can do as people is to support them. We need to turn here now! We Time passed and weeks rolled by. I love you more than the moon, more than the sun, more than the stars, more than, more than the heavy sneezy rain. In fact, <laughs> love, I salute thee. Cupid, put down thy bow, for thy warrior love has won the battle and taken my heart. By this time tomorrow, you will be mine forever. Oje. My princess. You have to win first. So with strong relationships to the northern part of Nigeria, they were not Muslims. They were meant to be Christians, a religion handed down to them from the colonial masters. She's been like this for five days. I have tried everything. Five days? Yes. Your name. Baby. She's a kid. 13. Pregnant at 13. Women here marry very young. <laughs> she needs a cesarean. The men will never allow it. <laughs> Women here are meant to deliver children, not to have them cut out. Besides, we're talking about surgery here. Look around you. This is Katako, not New York. Get me my bag now. This could cause a riot. If anything happens to her, they will accuse you of killing her. She's already dying. Samantha! I need to get the baby out now. Shut up. <laughs> no. It's only four weeks this time, Samantha. Just go in and get it done with. Your father will come visit you next week. He's never visited me. He couldn't bring you in today because he has a full... I know. 
his job. What was it like in there? Rehab. There is this distinct, potent smell of disinfectant. I'm sure they all use the same one, like some national pact or something. A final punishment for our trespasses. My name is Samantha, and I've been clean for six months. I was born here, in the creeks of West Africa, in a remote area which our people called Old Calabar. Our native tongue was epic with the Kwas and Efuts as neighbors. The people were fishermen, reaping customarily from the produce of our ever-flowing waters we referred to as the Cross River. My mother used to say, that the fishes there were put for us by Abbas, our creator, as a sign of his unending concern for the survival of his people. We had only one God. We had only Abbas. <laughs> Iniendo Edison! Nyen! Iniendo Edison! I must insist. We should be concentrating our efforts on making our quota and not indulging within immoral acts with common animals. With all due respect, Captain, when I joined your ship, I told you I knew the terrain and how long it would take to get the goods. I'd have you remember that I did captain my own ship once. And lost it to acts like this? I beg your pardon? Fornication with common savages, sir. And who are you, sir, to judge what is right and what is wrong? You stand there complaining about my fornicating with the people that you sell and enslave. That is right, sir. People. The day finally came. The day we had to say goodbye to the place known to us as home. Our motherland. We looked back and bade farewell to Calabar as we were packed in canoes and rowed to the vehicle of our final destination. Strike it together! Lay it off to reach the 
in a work of art that would send a message to governments, to oil companies, to the chiefs. Do you believe that we can solve our problems in this community without violence? Yes! I've come here to pick seven people that I want to train how to make films. I'll be very interested. Do you feel that government understands you? For me, no. In every situation, there must be a solution. I use the intention of SDN is to create peace where there's conflict. I would like to create a movie that would teach the others a lesson by using your hand to make yourself who you want to be in future. When I come back, I bring that change to the community. You're here for a training that's going to make you a leader. I'm so excited. The director decides, and he knows immediately what's wrong with it. She effectively communicated what she wanted us to do. I chose you people for a reason. You are the hope of the Ninja Delta. script on the true events of Nigerian activist Ken Sarawiwa, he envisioned a story that would bring international awareness to the environmental devastation caused by the petroleum industry operating in the Delta since the mid-1960s. 